Let's take a moment to go through how project locking works. With project locking enabled, one user can have a Premiere Pro project open in read-write mode. They, in effect, own the project at that point and are the only one that can make changes to the project. This looks like a small green lock in the lower right corner of the project window. If someone tries to open a project being edited by another user, that person will get a message telling them who has the project open and that the project will be open in read-only mode on their system. The project panel will have a red lock icon in the lower corner, and the top of the project tab will have a lock as well, and the name of the person currently editing the project. It'll be impossible to make any changes to this project, although you can view and preview clips as normal. Since it's possible to have multiple projects open at the same time, a very common workflow is to be using a locked project as a source for material in a sequence in an unlocked project. Here I have a locked music project, but I'm cutting music clips from it into my sequence, which lives in a different project. If the other editor makes any changes to the locked bin and saves those changes, a yellow exclamation notice appears at the top of the project. Click the flyout menu and choose Refresh Project to see those changes. You do not need to close and reopen the project file to see changes update. To change a project's status from locked to unlocked or vice versa, just click the lock icon in the lower left of the project panel. If you've made any changes to an unlocked project and try to lock it, you'll be prompted to save changes to that project. Now, for those of you who need to understand what's going on under the hood, need to occasionally troubleshoot, Premiere Pro creates a small PR lock file next to the original project file on the shared storage. This file tells all other copies of Premiere Pro that the project is locked. If there's ever a situation where a project is staying locked due to some kind of computer malfunction, you can simply delete the PR lock file. That will release the lock on the project. I recommend only doing this in an emergency. Deleting the PR lock file in a normal working environment may result in two editors overwriting each other's work. So only use this knowledge for troubleshooting purposes. There are many ways to use project locking to share workflows, passing info from assistants to lead editors or VFX editors. So experiment and try out what works best for your needs. Or look for the video on how to set up a master project for a more organized environment. 